The last story I'm going to read for today is The Lost Little Bird. The Lost Little Bird. A little bird flew into a tree and bumped his head. The little bird felt all jumbled up. He couldn't even remember what kind of bird he was. But the little bird was determined to find out. This little bird thought he might be a nightingale. Tweet! Tweet! Stop! You're hurting my ears! But he wasn't. Maybe I'm a robin, he thought. But he wasn't a robin either. Yikes! Guess he doesn't like that worm. Perhaps he was an eagle. No, you're, you are not an eagle. You are too little. Maybe I'll get bigger. But he was not. He was not an eagle. Could I be a crow? The little bird wondered. But he definitely was not a crow. Care to join us? Yuck! Look what they're eating. What has a tail like that? Who? 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 And I'll try to help by asking the little bird some questions. Wait! But the owl flew away before little bird could answer. The little bird spotted an egret standing in a pond and flew down to join her. I'm afraid your legs aren't long enough. But he soon discovered that he was not an egret. Uh-oh! Run! He was not a sandpiper. Here comes a sandstorm. And they run. Run on the sand. Could I possibly be a duck? He asked himself. The baby duck says, can you swim? Look at them swim. Uh-oh. The answer again was no. The chickens were encouraging. Keep trying. Maybe tomorrow. They're laying eggs. But the little bird knew he was not a chicken. He tried pecking wood. See those little holes? Look at those big holes. Of course you have a headache. You're not cut out for this line of work. Nope. The little bird was not a woodpecker. The little bird was sad and discouraged. He flew down and landed on the rim of a bird bath. As he sat there, little bird the little bird was joined by another bird. Hello, she said. Who are you? I don't know, the little bird replied. I bumped my head and I forgot. I don't even know what kind of bird I am. You're a bluebird like me, she told the little bird. The little bird was happy. Now he knew what kind of bird he was. You can come to my house, said his companion. So the little bird did. And he stayed there for a long, long time. The end.